Mike, if you'll get ready for the first hymn. And our first hymn is O Little Town of Bethlehem. Mike is going to be putting the words up on the screen, but if you want to follow along in your um, uh, uh, hymn book, yeah, it's number 250. By the way, I want to tell you all that when Lynn and I get to visit Israel, and if it happens in 2021, do you know the best city to visit in 2021 in Israel? Do you know what it is? Damascus. All right. Thank you, Harold. That was a repeated Damascus. All right. In 2021. All right. Ah, oh, Damascus. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, little town of Bethlehem. Okay. Now, Mike, if you want to mute me or if you want me to turn my mic off from up here. Okay. He said, and so he cut me off. Okay. <clears throat> We've got mics set up so that maybe they can hear us singing out in the parking lot or on the podcast. So anytime you're ready, Mike. Now, there's an introduction to this. Everybody can hear it okay? Good. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. That's real quick. Ready? For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. Oh, morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of His heaven. No ear may hear His coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive Him still, the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend on us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Isn't that a great song? All right. Now, you're right. Now, I said the best town in Israel would, to go visit. Bethlehem, with Jerusalem, right? All right. But I still want to be demasked us. All right. I still want that. All right. Hey, Larry Stewart's with us. Larry, would you start us out in prayer, please? Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, the sustainer of all that we are and all that we hope to be. Lord, we thank you for the privilege that is ours to be here in your house as we come to worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray your blessings upon the preacher of the word. Bless us through the Holy Spirit 
and followed by your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Turn around and say hi to somebody. Wave. Fist bump. All right. All right. Oh, shake hands. All right. Wait a minute. Sage, show everybody how to shake hands. Mm, my goodness. Michael Ann, when you're done, stay, sit down. Michael Ann, when you're done, sit right there on the front row. Okay? All right. I got to keep an eye on her. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of buzz, Mike. Okay? I shouldn't say that. That, that means something. Com- no, Michael Ann, don't leave. All right? That means something completely different. So, all right, I'm getting a little bit of feedback. Is my monitor turned off? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, let's take a look at our announcements. This Wednesday, Bible study, prayer time, planning, especially regarding the food distribution, uh, Wednesday, 7 o'clock, okay? Um, somebody, don't let me forget birthdays and anniversaries. Okay, uh, Christmas turkeys. Uh, we've got 11 turkeys. There are some plans. Watch this. If 11 of us took a turkey home with us and baked it and deboned it and bagged it up, on the 20th, sometime after church, we could distribute that food out to the, uh, the campground and do some Christmas caroling. Okay, so if you can uh, become the foster parent of a turkey (laughs) temporarily, um, uh, if we divide this up, we can bake them. um, And then if you all would be so kind as to debone and put them in baggies um, and then we can distribute that. Okay, so uh, get with me that week uh, before the 20th. All right. Which seems to be coming up on us pretty, pretty quickly, doesn't it? Uh, uh, so we'll do the Christmas caroling and the food distribution um, that same day. We're thinking uh, December the 20th uh, sometime in the afternoon, okay? Um, we're not going to be doing a Christmas Eve service. Uh, deacons put their heads together uh, and just uh, felt like it would be best for us not to gather. Um, and so we're going to do a podcast. Uh, so sometime Christmas Eve day, I'll record a message. I'll send it to Mike. Mike's going to fancy it up and edit it and take out all of my errors, all right? Um, And then he'll put it up on the podcast. So, now, Mike, we're still podcasting like we always have. But in addition, what else are we doing? We're now live broadcasting on the Internet. Uh, You can pick it up on Roku. You can pick it up on... uh Okay, how do you find that? Silvergrove.sermon.net Okay, silvergrove.sermon.net Okay, I like the .net because we are fishers of men. All right, so um, we'll use the net anytime we can, right? Okay, good. Um, uh, Okay, Uh, Vicki wants any uh, group, uh, board, committee, etc., to make budget request for 2021 to her so she can begin to prepare uh, the 2021 budget. Also, Vicki, you said the second Sunday of January we can do our annual meeting. All right, so let's plan on that. By that time, everybody should have the, the virus vaccine. Okay, anyway, uh, it's coming. It's coming any day now, uh, January the second Sunday. Okay, so we'll kind of plan on that, and we'll see what develops until then. All right, um, Michael Ann. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, go ahead, Michael Ann. I'll remember birthdays and anniversaries after you. If you'll step up to a mic, please. You had an announcement. About the women. Yeah. All right. Um, no, no, that mic. That mic. Yeah. Music. No, wait, wait, stop. Just stand in front of it. Just stand in front of it. But I'm facing you then. No, all right, then turn around and do this. <laughs> okay. First of all, I want to remind for the women's fellowship, we're not going to do anything until January. And we're going to start a Bible study in January. I've also had some...
people asking about doing the secret sisters reveal dinner or luncheon so we're thinking about doing something in january if there's enough interest of people willing to meet here to do that we'll do that if not then we will send cards to our secret sister and let that person know who that was for the year and then we will draw names again okay good all right great look at that wonderful wonderful <laughs> okay all right now you know how i feel up here when mike can just push buttons and make me do whatever i'm supposed to do okay all right um let's see all right any other announcements going on do what Birthdays and anniversaries. Mm -hmm. All right, we got. We're going to do those right now because I forgot last week and I was called on the carpet by a good church member that I forgot last week. I was called on the carpet uh, for the last two last week or this coming week. Does anybody have a uh, birthday coming up or last week or whatever? Mary, when was your birthday? It's today. It's today. All right. Wow. Yay. So it's Mary Fielder's. Um, 49th birthday. What is it? 52? 3. Okay, there's a third. Oh, huh? Oh, wait a minute. How old are you, Mary? 58. 58? How can that be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Okay, all right. Well, happy birthday. All right, Michael? My son's birthday's Tuesday. Uh, yeah, how old's he going to be? 42. 42. Mm -mm. All right. Andrew? Uh, oh, Andrew is not here. That's Aaron. Not, yeah, Andrew's not here today, but Andrew returned 11 yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, Aaron, if you got a dollar, could you give it to Andrew? Could you give your brother a dollar? All right, come up here. Come up here. All right. All right. Yeah, really. Okay. You never know, but... I might as well kiss this one goodbye, right? <laughs> Will you give this to your brother? All right. Okay. And what, Madison? And he'll steal that. Well, no, he can't do that because he's in church, okay? We can't do that. Really? Oh. All right. Now, I'm not going to ask how old Estelle is. Ooh. Okay. All right. So, Estelle, if you're listening to us on the podcast or any other electronic form, happy birthday. It's Estelle's birthday. All right? All right? Uh, anybody else? Now, when is it? Tomorrow? Oh, you better find out. Oh, okay, okay. All right, 12. Okay. Okay. All righty. Um, any other birthdays? Any anniversaries? Okay. We are good. John and Joanne, are you finished with your donuts out there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is too comedic, okay? All right. Uh, let's do number 251. And uh, while we're singing this, if you all would be so kind as to bring your uh, offerings and tithes and place them in the offering plates... Uh, while we're singing, you can just make your way up this way. It's number 251. It came upon a midnight clear. Now, Mike, you're controlling me, so you're shutting my mic off. All right. Number 251 in the hymn book. It came upon the midnight clear. There's no intro to this, is there? Or is there? I can't remember. Let's let, We'll just listen closely to the music. Okay, good. Here we go. It came upon the midnight clear That glorious song of old From angels bending near earth to touch their harps of gold peace on the earth good will to men from heaven's all gracious king 
The world in solemn stillness lay.